Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video, I've got a problem with my Xbox One X and I've had a problem for ever since the Xbox Series X and S come out. So I had the Xbox Series X, I sold that, I have the PlayStation 5, I didn't really need that, but I kept the Xbox Series X, no, S. Uh, I've got an Xbox One and also an Xbox One X. My Xbox One X is the console that I've been using for years. Apart from the Fortnite one, but that's long gone now. And I've had problems ever since I've been playing Xbox Series S. This has gone haywire. It doesn't want to update. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I'm pretty much certain it may be the hard drive is kaput. Downloaded Fortnite, also Warzone, and it just keeps coming up with so many different errors. So let me know in the comment section below if you've had a problem where you try and install a game. It probably installs a gig, throws up an error code. I'm gonna try and get some error codes up on the screen. So this will be a, a series of videos on the Xbox One X and see if we can sort this out, see if we can identify whether it is the hard drive and whether, I've, instead of me going out and buying a hard drive, I've got this uh, two terabyte Xbox hard drive. I might stick that in there the xbox one x has a one terabyte drive in so having two is going to be really helpful and i think this may have caused it because i never used to use this in the xbox one x and then i started using it the i completely filled up the one terabyte drive then started using this and ever since i started using this only the past two three months it's been causing me problems so i'm going to start the update first of all i need to plug my controller in i've got no battery so I'm going to use a USB cable and connect the controller so I can press start update. Yeah, it seems really strange. Ever since the Xbox series came out, this Xbox One X started to pack up. So I've already done this before. It got to about 400 megabytes and then it ran up with an error. I can't remember what the error is of the top of my head, it's run up with a load of E103s and E101s. It's been factory reset, I don't know, about five or six times. I've put the system software, the Xbox, got gone off over to Microsoft Xbox, downloaded the new system software onto a, a pen drive, stuck it in, reinstalled the system software on the Xbox One X. It's been okay for about 24 hours and then it'll just do exactly the same. So either it's got a hard drive issue or there's a issue on the network but i'll fast forward this it looks like it's stopped again no it's not it's carrying on i'll fast forward to this until it shows me an error on the screen and that didn't take that long probably two minutes after i last stopped talking we've got this there was a problem with the update you need this update to use your console but something went wrong now this is a new update, I believe, for the Xbox One X. It's come out in the past week. We are on March the 7th. So I think this update, I should have gone and checked Microsoft. It's probably the beginning of the month. But obviously I can't play any online games. I can't even get into my account. So I'm gonna press, I'm gonna check the network because there's nothing wrong with the network. And it says my connection is all good. We're going to press try again. Start update. Now it's going to start to download it again and it'll come up with the same error. Probably on the next video, what I'll do is I'll cycle the Xbox One down. Try to update this update that way or download the update that way. Uh, we can reinstall the Xbox to factory settings or actually reinstall the xbox operating system back on there and try it again but like i said i've done all them four or five times in the past and we're still getting the uh the error i want to get the error on the screen the actual the e101 or the e103 and uh let me know if anyone in you have experienced the same errors on your xbox one or your xbox one x Definitely not an issue, I don't think, with my network. And it's come up with that again. Yeah, so this will be the first one. This will be part one. Uh, I could power cycle the Xbox One down now. Let's just, just do that before 
I move on to another series. So I'll hold the power button. Wait for it to turn off. Well, that's fully off. I'm going to unplug the power cord outside, out the back of it. That's the power cord is out. I'm not going to take the HDMI cable or the network cable out. It doesn't make a difference whatsoever. It's the main one. It's to completely shut it down and take the power cable out. Microsoft do say on their online support to unplug everything, but I'm sure taking the HDMI cable out or the network cable out is going to not make a difference whatsoever. So we're going to give it a minute or so. Then I'm going to plug the power cord back into the back of the Xbox One. And we'll fire up the Xbox One and see what happens. I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to plug the power cord back into the console. We're all set. Switch it on. For those that do have problems when they're downloading something, it stops downloading midway or your Xbox is behaving rather strangely just do what i did power cycle the xbox console down take out the power lead leave it out for a minute to two minutes start it back up and see if it cures your problem if it doesn't you'll have to investigate it a little bit further so we're going up through the boot sequence on the xbox one x it should take me straight to this update screen when you power cycle your xbox down it just take uh, a minute or two to actually boot into the main lobby, the main menu screen. All you've done is cleaned the cache, uh, any conflicting errors that may have uh, been caused, whether you had a network issue, your Wi-Fi went down and you was downloading or updating a game, that can cause an update to stop working. So power cycling it back will clear it, it'll start doing it again. So it's come straight back to this screen here. I'm gonna press start the update. I'll fold it again until, unless it completely cures it by power cycling it back down, but I don't think it will. I'll fold it now until it stops downloading. So we we're back on the same screen. We've got the error code of 0x87045D, 0x00000000, and 0x907005. Not too sure what the error codes are, so I'm going to have to have a look. I've uh, You can see the operating system, the target operating system, but I haven't got a clue what's up with this. I'm saying it could b the hard drive is on its way out the xbox one x is notorious uh, for the xbox hard drive to break down all the time i don't think it's a network issue i've been on to check network network is running all a-ok -okay. we're using a wired connection all good your console is connected to the internet so it is definitely not that i'm going to say it is a hard drive issue there is something on the hard drive so I will reinstall the uh, system software or take it back to factory settings first then reinstall the system software I'll update you on a video of when I do that but if you are having the same problem with me drop a comment in the comment box below let me know have you fixed it have you taken out your hard drive have you swapped a one terabyte hard drive to a two terabyte hard drive but anyway I'll get back to you with another video thanks for watching